Welcome back to Vietnam. Today we are looking at hole number one, the Seawind 1370. We are hole number two, as you may know, but this is two months ahead of our boat. So we're going to take a big walk through with Shane and explain to you all the different bits of this boat, what they've put in, what the difference is between uh, the stage that our boat's at and this boat. Just a little bit of a, of a heads up, it's beautiful inside. Okay, so this is hole number one. So this is, uh, we're hole number two, this is hole number one. Shane, is it about two months ahead of ours, development-wise? Uh, yeah, a month, two months, yeah. The things that you can immediately see, the escape, no, not hatches, the escape areas have been cut through. So yeah, you'll be able to see the position, those positions pretty, pretty clearly. Anything, oh, and the, obviously the, uh, the sail, the engines are in now. The, what are these, SD60s? Yeah. Yeah. So the SD60 Yanmar sail drives. Top sides have been um, fed and polished after coming out of the moulds, and then once we've done that, we've put this this stuff just stop it scuffing paint on. Yeah, stop from getting scuffed cool. and scratched. All right, we're good, eh? All right, Therese, let's uh, let's go and see hull number one. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, so there's a lot more. So Shane, these 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 inserts are all like bonded in now. Yes, all the furniture's in, headliners are in. Right, so you can get a good idea the amount of space you're going to get around the engine. Yeah, and then obviously that's where the the holding tank is going to yep. be. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, this is a shelf for the water maker. Yep. This is part of the ducting, the custom ducting for the aircon. Yep. So that's where the aircon unit will sit. So there's two aircons in the boat. Two air conditioning. Port yeah. and starboard. So the port oh, cool. unit sits on that shelf, yep. plumbs directly into there. So it's got two outlets, one into the owner's cabin and one into the saloon up. So there's a there's a simple, very simple duct on that side. Okay, cool. Okay, and the other duct is there. So this one actually is much more complex. This one actually goes from here down across and then up into that cabin. So it's a much larger ducting system. The air con is mounted there. So that feeds air into the saloon, forward cabin and aft cabin. Why do you just not use piping like other people do? Why, why do you build them? Is it, I know it's obviously like far higher quality, but it, is, it, it, is it cost effective or it's just, I don't... I don't... It's not cost effective, um, but the piping is round and it's, it's uh, pretty inconvenient. You know, there's not many spaces on the boat that are round. So we're utilizing, you know, we're utilizing the gap here between the, the saloon and the wing deck, which is um, shallow, but wide. So we've had to, ah, we have to make it more yeah, you know, wider yeah. there and, and shallower. In other areas, it comes more square. So it's having to, have to change dimensions to suit the available space. Uh, you never would have thought that, would you? No. And so basically, you can see the size of this locker. Oh, okay. Honestly, I had a student bedroom that was smaller than this. <laughs> that's nuts. That's, that's going to be the locker, wow. Yes. Yeah, so there is a dividing panel. Uh, this panel goes in where those okay. little tabs are. Yep. So you've got two lockers there. Insane, insanely large. No, Therese? Yes. Okay, do you want to head down to the cabins? Yep, I'll after you. Yeah, just be careful, there's a bloody great hole here, babe. Yeah. All right. Oh, this gives you a much better idea. Of yeah. yeah, so we're in the owner's cabin, so you can see here now, we're, we are standing a bit higher. Yep. Um, you can see through the windows here. I think before when you're in, the, in your hull, you're on the floor and you, this, yeah. was up, this was up there. This is at a good height you've got here, so you've got your opening uh, hatch here. Windows all the way through to the forward cabin. So um, this is the actual floor. This is the actual floor, yeah. is the actual floor height. That yeah. Real idea of yeah. yeah. But you can still see there is another. Uh, so the this will be the tray for the um, hidden deck lines. So yep. the headlining will come up below that. Okay. And how tall are you, Shane? I'm five eleven. Okay. So yeah. Plenty of extra room. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you've got your wardrobe here floor to ceiling wardrobe and then here you've got your table so this is you can see here the plinth so the wardrobe is it's sitting up there with a, a kicker below um, oh, okay so this so literally you can see the absolute outline of a wardrobe yeah yeah, yeah. cool and your tables here and you can see here from the table you can see the bed um, you, you know, your visibility through here this is obviously quite wide up here so you, the table comes out further comes out to this depth but any of the uh, cabinetry 
above, like mirror and things okay. like that, they're all recessed behind this area. So you do have that open view. We're not obstructing the view through here. And is it a pull-out stool or is it just to provide your own stool? Uh, it's, it's a slide-out stool. A slide-out stool, so yeah. basically you sit here and, you, yeah. and you, you'll have plug sockets here, I take it, if you want to yeah. work from yeah, here. You'll have, you'll have some USB outlets, power outlets there, so you can charge your equipment from there. I mean, honestly, it's a piece of... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So just, just worth noting, I, don't, I hope you can hear me, but as I, I'm 5'2", right? Yeah. I can definitely still see like a lovely view out of those windows. So, you know, that's... For the uh, it's, more it's diminutive in, <laughs> in stature. <laughs> so you can also see, I mean, this, yeah, this, this bulkhead um, will be lower than the ceiling. So this, this will be the lowest part. Yeah. And, you know still plenty of room. Okay, this is, the ceiling looks like a bit higher. Yeah. So so there's I not ask, much There's no door here, but is there like a sliding door for, to, to separate the owner's cabin or is it just all open? So in line with the um, with the wardrobe here, yep. there'll be a sliding door. So there'll be a door that slides okay. closed here. So that you can have complete privacy yep. here. Yep. There's also a pantry. So there is some pantry storage um, for the saloon. Um, in this area, so nice. you're accessible from there. So when that door's closed, that's, that's still accessible. Okay, so here, so that opens this way. Is it cupboards or shelves that make it uh, it, It's covered with, with shelves, um, it's, and it's probably about 200 mil deep. Okay, yeah. nice, clever, clever, okay. Good, and this is just, there's nothing here. Just... This is just paneling, there'll be paneling that goes over here, some fabric um, finishing. Cool. Okay, and we come through here. So you can see again the plinth here. So on top of this, there'll be a step. So there's, there's access below that to store shoes and things like that. Yep. Main function is the step. And then on top of that, you've got your shelves below the bed that come out here. So you can see here, like, everything's sort of been built in. Because yeah. we've, we've spent a lot of time on the designs, so everything's really been thought through from day one. It all clicks together, it all, all integrates. So the timber work will marry up to the, fur, the fiberglass here. Um, there's a shelf there, there'll be a bottom shelf and your uh, cupboard comes out to here. So you have steps on the other side, and then on top of those steps, there's another, I think there's a further one or two steps each side. So you've got the first step, which is at that height, second step at this height, and then you're onto the bed. Okay, perfect. And then on top of this, so basically the only thing in addition to this is just the mattress. Which five is inch like mattress. Five inch, yeah. Okay, but it's wide now. Do you want me to demonstrate? <laughs> you know you want to. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. Add, add five inches, it's about that much. <laughs> <laughs> what everyone asks, can you sit up in bed? So this, oh, I take it yeah, up there, yeah? yeah That's yeah, where the, yeah. the headline is, right? Oh, so, okay, okay. so add, add the, de the, the depth of the mattress. Yeah. So that's what Also you're... remember when you're sitting on the mattress, um, especially sitting like that, it compresses. Yeah. So a five inch mattress probably compressed it too. Well, and after Christmas, I'm gonna be compressing yeah. it about another half inch. <laughs> 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 All right, so that's kind of like where we are regarding sitting up in bed and just to note sat up in bed like you've got really good like you've got that mm. whole view so from here Therese yep. storage here storage there storage here so you can put your books you can put your, yeah. your phone and things nice. away in there we can we can mount uh, outlets there to yeah. charge from there okay oh. hello darling <laughs> <laughs> do you fancy a croissant <laughs> where's my coffee in bed but look at the view like, especially from here, and then you've got that kind of, you can see that whole view as well. Yeah, actually you can, that's yeah. right. Oh, how nice. So the, the extra width of that opening yeah. is going to give you like a much you, more... You've got like a panoramic view from here. Yeah, absolutely. That's pretty nuts. We're going to be spending a little time. In bed. <laughs> that's beautiful. And the walk-in wardrobe, wardrobe here, I think we've got storage on the inboard side and a seat here. I think is how we And is there going to be access through to the cell locker from this side? No, no so, so this completely is completely sealed access from the deck on yep. this side. So this is a complete wet locker. Put your sail and things like that in it. And also acts as a crash bulkhead, I assume. There's another crash bulkhead in front of that. So oh, there's yeah, sort okay. of two levels of protection there. If you uh, uh, impacted something, hopefully you only rupture up to the crash bulkhead and you're fine. If you penetrate the crash bulkhead, you've got this locker, which is also sealed off as a second level of uh, crash bulkhead protection. So you've got your toilet sitting here. Yep. This will be storage below here. So this is a, a cabinet. Yep. You've got your um, countertop and, and basin out here. And then your shower stall, so there's a glass screen through here. And then you've got the seat in the back of the shower stall. The main function of that is to give you, um, to give us the room to have the engine bay uh, and bathroom, you know, make the engine bay bigger, bathroom bigger. Uh, and then you've got your access to the cell drive. So for doing oil changes, the cell drive, this is the place to go. You're directly above it. You've got access all around the cell drive. 
And for everything else on the engine, you go through the, uh, the engine bay hatch. You've got some storage around places like this, and uh, here's where we have some of our water maker equipment installed, or if you've got other options, you've got other equipment in there. It's just a bit of extra storage uh, for you. So I think equipment. the shower stall is the whole width that we can see there, so. Yeah, so the glass, glass shower stall, there'll be a glass panel here, glass panel here, and a door in the center, up to here. So it's quite a wide shower. It's a lot bigger than the 1260 yes. then? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. And the window opens there. Window opening here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And what's what's above, Shane? Is that just? Ah, so this is actually um, where a lot of your deck hardware will be. It will oh. be where the jammers are, the winches are. So if you have an electric winch, the motor sits lower, which is why we've got this recess here. So the motor will sit in there, and therefore you've got a removable panel to access that. We've also got removable panels up here because you'll have some jammers and hardware on the outside. So wherever we've got hardware. Uh, we've got a, rem a removable panel to... Are there uh, any opening hatches up coming up? No, there? no, no, no really uh, window. Or, or there will be a window panel and opening hatch back here. Cool. On the, oh, on the, okay. on the, on the step, underneath okay. the step. Nice. All right, are we going to see the other hole? Yep. Just go easy down here, baby, in case you slip. So, yeah, you step on that. Yeah. yeah. So this is the stairwell. Yep. Uh, and then either side we've got storage. So here's where we'll have the... Uh, sorry, there's the aircon unit. There'll be some other electronic equipment here yep. and electronic equipment down here. So you're actually saying in front of the... Um, the heads. Yeah, the heads. So, so shower stall, I'm assuming that's a shower sump. Toilet there and washing machine there. Yeah. So, I mean, for a guest, for a guest heads, it's, it's pretty, you know... Pretty good. I, I've seen it. Well, it's bigger than Ruby Rose. Yeah. And then we've got uh, pantry storage here as well. So this is where you'll be able to have a lot of large, you know, rice, things like that. Oh, didn't realise I were getting that either. Okay. And that's shelves and a cupboard door, I take yeah. it, yeah? Yeah. I, I know we bang on about this. The amount of storage space in this boat is insane. Like, extra, like so much extra pantry storage. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's, it's going to be flaming fantastic. I'm blown away. And then just behind you is what's going to be like the, uh, the okay, extra bed, again. but that's going to roll back to form the workshop. Guest accommodation. So we get a guest cabin. Um, the berth will run fore to aft, correct? Yep. And then this is going to be cabinetry? Yes, yes. So there's a, uh, a cupboard that comes out here. Yep. We've actually moved the waste tank to this area. So you do lose a little bit of storage in this cabin. The reason we did that was so we can pick up the pantry space uh, after the bulkhead. Here. So yeah. this pantry, this is all pantry space? It's all pantry space. So the originally the intent for that yeah. was to have the waste tank. Um, obviously it's much larger than what you need for a waste tank of a boat this size. So um, we were looking for extra space to store um, food, goods and, and other you know, pots and pans or whatever. And um, you know, this space is available, but you know, yeah. being in a cabin that was inconvenient. So we've swapped the two. We've made this now, uh, this is going to be a blocked off panel. You can access it by unscrewing a few... Uh, Unscrewing the door, but so, so this will have a door over it, and then shelves. Yeah. yeah. So that's about 18 inches. That looks like about two and a half foot. Yeah. And that looks about just over two foot of yeah. that deep. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a whole that's a whole amount of space. That's, that's a huge amount of. Uh, that's storage. two large suitcases. Now, if you don't option the washing machine, then you would also have this space above for yeah. the pantry. Oh, okay. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so then you've got outboard storage here. And we'll talk about this at the, the next factory. We've got a mock-up with the timber work here. Oh, that's going to be amazing, yeah, yeah. There's a, uh, a cupboard below here, um, which, which incorporates the overhang of the bed. Yep. Then you've got step, step up to the bed up here. Yep. Um, some storage below here. And then obviously this becomes your, your, your workbench area. So can I just run to the, to the workbench? Mm. So the seat is going to be about, it's going to come out to where? About here? The... So, so the fixed workbench will be half of this distance. Okay. Yep. So the fixed workbench is there. Below that, you've got some shelving, and, you'll, and it's been designed to fit plastic uh, containers. Yeah. So they can just... slide out, and you can put your stuff in there. Yeah. Uh, and then the front part can then obviously fold over the, the yeah. sorry, the aft part can fold over the front part, and then that exposes your seat, which is hinged off the wall outboard here uh, with a pedestal. So that's pretty. Yeah. And this is all sto this is all for tools and other bits and bobs. Whatever you want, yeah. So there's storage up here, um, for, and there's storage just below. Um, so there's storage here, storage here. So the, so the basic, the, the boat is standard, comes with the the, the V-berth here, yeah. and the folding lid to be able to, yeah. to say, multi-purpose yeah. area. 
Um, and then the option for the full um, workbench area includes the seat, uh, vice, uh, lighting, extra, extra lighting, extra outlets to really make this a workable. So we're happy to have it. Yeah, that's where you go. Brilliant. Hi. Hello. So, what are you most excited about, Nick? Our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Does this talking about the workshop like get you excited about? Because that's something you've never had before—a work, a dedicated workshop. I, the, the, I guess the whole point for us is that having lived on board like for so long, you have to have a work, you have to have a workshop because stuff breaks all the time and it's nothing to do with deficiencies in boat. Anyone that's lived on a boat or anyone that's owned the boat for a week will know that to, sometimes to get a screwdriver out of a locker, you've got to dismantle the whole boat. Yeah. Literally, like you just you look for one thing and it's all like everything's this, like literally I can have an area which just has tools in it where it's got lighting, where I can solder, where I can do some sanding and literally the whole boat is not destroyed. So this is the aft cabin. As you can see, we've got a full width uh, double bed. Yep. Back here, we've got the, the centre panel removed now, um, but as you go through, you've got access to the side. So this actually forms part of the engine bay. This is where the hot water tank will be stored. Cool. Um, so you've got access through here into the engine bay, obviously through the deck, which is the primary access, but then you've also got this, this is a one piece hatch that will uh, lift out of the way up here, but we'll get that out of the way. And you can see you've got access over the entire engine here. So this actually would be a great, great spot to come to to do uh, Engine maintenance, you've got access directly down to the sail drive, all around here, but then even if you're working from the engine bay, you could have this open just to get some airflow through there, get yeah, better access, better communication as you're in there. Um, so that's, that's a, not another great feature. And again, this is above waterline, so if, worst case scenario, you tore your, uh, your sail drive out and flooded the engine bay, it's not going to protrude into the hull. So I really hope you enjoyed that episode. Look, hole number one, super, super exciting. And we know the owner, Randy, so like congratulations to him. You have got an amazing boat coming your way. Next week, we're gonna be looking at hole number three. And so if you're interested in that, feel free to give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, because for the next four to five months, there's gonna be a lot of boat building stuff going on. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. And now 20 seconds for a shameless plug. Do you want behind the scenes content? Do you want early access with no ads? Are you interested in interviews and content that you're not gonna find anywhere else? As well as three WhatsApp groups for you to participate in. And then finally meetups, live events and crewing opportunities. Join us on Patreon.